What's up, YouTube? Um, so I thought I'd do some videos. Um, I don't on electrical stuff. I don't know how many of you know that I used to be an electrician for 12 years here in Wyoming and Idaho. Um, started as apprentice, worked my way up to uh, the boss, the lead. So anyway, uh, I just want to do some. Uh, I'm going to do a couple videos on how to do three-way switching because that's kind of a pain in the butt. It's uh, kind of intimidating to some people. Some people get it. Um, it took me two or three or four to get it and it just clicked. So uh, we'll do some house wiring stuff. And But today's tip is going to be on um, identifying... Uh, positive and negative sides of wires, uh, low voltage, line voltage. Um, so I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll take a look at some wire I got on the counter here. And we'll be right back. Okay, so now the, these are just going to be general rules, uh, especially with like speaker wire. Let's see if I can get this. Um, when you're doing speakers, amps, things like that, you have uh, this is a typical speaker wire. Some larger, some smaller. The silver is usually your negative, and the copper is your positive side. And also, some speaker wire uh, have, if you've ever noticed and dealt with speaker wire, some of it's ribbed on this side, uh, or on one side or the other because uh, I know I've had speaker wire that had both copper in them but there's a rib on it and I'll show you with this house wiring because they, they, that's pretty standard for lamp cord um, the, ri the side with ribs on it is usually designating the neutral side of the wire and so when you hook up one end and you get to the other end you've hooked up your smooth side to the positive and your rib side to the negative you get the other end you just do the same thing because uh, in speed polarity and speakers and and uh, low volt uh, amps and stuff like that is important it's also important to know that when you're dealing with transformers and uh, stuff like that that when you're going from 120 volts it's important to get positive negative in on 120 volts on the right sides but on the exit it doesn't matter if it's a 12 volt then you can flip those wires any way you want it doesn't matter what you're hooking up on the on the 12 volt side and that's for transformers now here we have a typical lamp cord okay and one way to identify on the prongs uh, positive and negative the negative side is flared and this is pretty standard Sometimes you get appliances that, that are smooth on both sides. This one's not flared. But the side that, if you have it like this, if you have one like this, the smooth side is positive and the flared side is negative. Now when you look at the wire, I hope this comes up, you'll see ribs here on the wire and that's de designating neutral. And then when you flip it over, this, this side of the wire is smooth. That's designating positive. So two wire rib side corresponds to the wide blade on the plug. Smooth side designates the straight prong on the plug. So general rule of thumb, um, especially with lamp cords and stuff like that, that never changes. Um, if, if you get a lamp or a cord that is both smooth on both sides, you'll know that this side, the wide blade side, is the neutral. And this is important if you have a cut cord and you're, you're wiring into a new lamp or something like that. Um, or you're just putting a cord on whatever. Um, the positive and neutral is important for the, the equipment, the light, whatever. 
So again, just some tips on how to identify positive and neutral, or hot and neutral, hot, neutral. Ribbed is neutral on your wire. If you're rewiring lamps, that's important. So you can see the ribs in that wire there. And then when I flip it over this side smooth, that is the hot side. And again, silver, neutral, copper, hot. And then if you have ribs on it, the ribs will be on the silver side or the neutral side. So that's it. Just my little tip for you guys. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you.